you've ever walked through a museum or an art gallery, you may have noticed that a lot of the art and historical treasure on display is completely exposed to the public. In fact, with the exception of some of the world's most famous pieces of art, you could easily fall over and damage much of the artwork on display worldwide. So what would happen if you did trip and accidentally damage an irreplaceable priceless piece of art? As it turns out, not all that much. This is mainly because of two things. First, museums and galleries will almost always have insurance to cover any such damage. Second, accidents happen and the people running the museums understand that. In fact, in nearly every case we could find of a piece of artwork accidentally being damaged, no charges were pressed by either the museum or in some cases the owner of the art in question. In fact, it appears the worst that might happen in such a scenario is that you'll get banned from the museum. For example, consider the case of Nick Flynn, a man who in 2006 tripped over his shoelaces while walking around the Flitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge and knocked over three 17th century vases worth about 175,000 pounds or $225,000. Flynn noted of the experience, I snagged my shoelace, missed the step, and crash bang wallop. There were a million pieces of high quality Qing ceramics lying around underneath me. Although I knew the vase would break, I didn't imagine it would be loose and crash into the other two. I'm sure I only hit the first one and that must have flown across the window seal and hit the next one, which then hit the other, like a set of dominoes. I can say with my hand on my heart that it was not deliberate. It was just my Norman wisdom moment. Just one of those unbelievably unlucky things that can sometimes happen. The museum official's response was to merely send him a letter advising Flynn not to visit the museum again in the near future. Yes, he didn't even technically get banned, just politely asked to abstain from visiting for a while. In fact, the museum didn't even identify Flynn to the public to spare him the embarrassment of being known as the guy who tripped and knocked over three vases that, before encountering Mr. Flynn, had managed to survive about four centuries and a full six decades sitting on those very window seals. We only know his name because British tabloids tracked him down after the fact. So that's an accident. What about more negligent cases? All evidence would seem to indicate that museums and galleries similarly seem hesitant to do anything to the patron in question. Beyond countless selfie-related accidental destruction of art that has become something of a frequent occurrence in recent years, there is the case of a clock made by artist James Borden that hung in Columbia, Pennsylvania's National Watch and Clock Museum for over two decades before being destroyed. How did it meet its end? Well, an elderly couple began touching and pulling on its various bits, seemingly trying to see what the clock looked like when it was working. This ultimately caused the clock to come crashing down. The museum chose not to press any charges nor seek compensation for the damages. In fact, as in other examples, they didn't even berate the individuals in the press, choosing not even to name them at all. That said, we did find one exception to this no-fault negligent destruction of art general rule. This happened when a tourist scaled the facade of a Portuguese train station to take a selfie with an 1890 statue of Dom Sebastião, resulting in the statue's destruction when said tourist accidentally knocked the statue over and it shattered on the ground below. The unnamed man was later charged with destruction of public property. As for the non-public, even in cases where museum or gallery staff damage or destroy the art, the individual usually gets off with only a slap on the wrist if it truly was an honest accident. For example, in 2000, some porters of the Bond Street auction house accidentally put a painting by artist Lucian Freud valued at £100,000 or about $130,000 into a crushing machine. The painting was stored in a large wooden box which the porters assumed was empty and put out with the rest of the trash. The auction house assured papers that the porters wouldn't even lose their jobs over the matter and that it was an honest mistake. In another case, an unnamed cleaning lady tossed a bunch of modern art valued at about $15,000 into the garbage in 2014. To be fair to the cleaning lady, the art in question created by modernist Paul Branca was a bunch of cards cardboard boxes haphazardly strewn across the floor of a section of the gallery. Again, no action was taken against the cleaner. All this said, while it appears most museums, galleries, and even artists will take the destruction of damage of their work in good humor, if done accidentally, even if there was a fair bit of negligence involved, the same cannot be said if the damage is malicious. In these cases, the museums can and will press charges, and one might expect a bit of jail time in addition. For instance, one Andrew Shannon punched a Monet painting worth about seven million pounds, or about nine million dollars. He later claimed he tripped and fell and it was an accident, but security footage clearly showed him intentionally punching the painting. When he was detained by security guards, a can of paint stripper was also found in his pocket. He was given a five-year prison sentence for this. 